Today we're going to be reviewing the Ascend 128X. I recently put it in the water in Marathon Lake if uh, you caught my last uh, kayak uh, fishing episode. So we're going to uh, take an honest look about how this big old boat or big old kayak uh, acts in the water. So uh, please sit back and enjoy this honest review. Today I'm going to try to be making uh, two videos in one. Uh, I've already got the introduction done to the first video. So what I'm planning on doing is trying to make a uh, make a personal review on the uh, Sin 128X. Um, how it glides through the water, uh, how it tracks. I'm on bigger water, as you can see, right behind me and right in front of me. There's, uh, it's, I gotta admit, right now, I just got it out. I've probably only been here for maybe 10, 15 minutes, just trying to get a feel for it in bigger water. And I've got to say, I, I honestly like it. Uh, I'm out here trying to fish. I've got a uh, just two poles. I've got one set up for bass, one set up for uh, crappie, or pretty much anything that bites. So um, there's a lot of people out here, uh, and uh, I don't wanna try to talk too loud, but um, we're gonna see what we can get into. I know there's probably going to be a lot of questions asked about what that little orange thing is in front of some people don't know but in Mississippi you got to have something that uh, is highly visible uh, whenever it sticks past your vehicle uh, more than three foot well I'm carrying it actually in a 6x10 trailer right now because that's pretty much the only thing I have and uh, I'm waiting on my my bed extender to come in which is supposed to be in next week but I couldn't wait to get into the water so I just put it in my trailer strapped it down and took off with it but um, as you can see, I'm, I'm floating with the current. It's pushing me, uh, it's pushing me pretty good. Uh, this kayak, I believe, is more designed for the, uh, to, to plane across the water instead of trying to cut across it. Um, it sits really, really good on the water. Uh, it sits me up pretty high up off the water, so it helps me with uh, sight fishing and uh, helping my big body move around. Um, it's it, right now I honestly can't can't complain about it I mean it's pushing pretty doggone good through the water uh, with the uh, the Ascend uh, tournament series uh, angular angler uh, paddles so yeah it's pretty good enjoy the scenery something you don't see every day um, still right here at Marathon if you look there's a whole bunch of geese right there I'm going to try my best to stay well clear of. I'm pretty much going to stop, uh, drop me an anchor right here and just fish off of this right here and just try to see what I, I, I can get to. Got to admit, that little pound and a half anchor is doing its job. I just got it hooked right there to make sure it'll cleat the handle. And uh, as you can see, my kayak is staying still. This pound and a half, I mean, it is just working its magic. And I'm just trying to stay clear of the geese. I don't want to get too close. All right, one thing I got to admit, this, <laughs> the Ascend 128X is a beast uh, when it comes to paddling. Um, like I said, it doesn't cut across the water. It rides on top of it, which uh, makes it nice whenever, especially when the wind's blowing, you're not fighting against the water too bad because you're, you're, you're riding on top of it. But because it rides on top of it, it makes it a little bit more choppier than I like. Uh, the boat starts rattling, starts shaking a little bit. But uh, I can understand why people want to put trolling motors on these jokers. Uh, this one right here doesn't isn't designed for a front hookup like uh, the one, 138, I mean 133X. But um, I've seen where people installed uh, little trolling motors on the back side of them on the 133s. But uh, as more and more people get the uh, 128X, I can see how you can rig up something back there. But uh, for all intents and purposes on my side, I'm not going to put anything else like that because I don't want to, I don't feel like registering with the state of Mississippi my boat. Uh, any type of uh, motorized propulsion, uh, you have to uh, register it with the state of Mississippi. You probably hear the winds picking up a little bit and I'm trying my best to get over to the other side 
uh, where this little pond levee is. But uh, I'm gonna flip it around, let you see exactly how it rides on, uh, on the top of the water. But uh, I'm getting a good shoulder workout, I can promise you. Uh. All right, this is the front view of it. I mean, you can see it's just riding right on top of the water. And the way the channels are designed on the bottom side of this boat, it tracks really well, even in choppy water. It's just getting this big bad boy moving. You gotta let the momentum carry you. And the only bad thing is, if I stop rowing, all it's gonna do, the wind is just gonna push me back, and I just, that's just more ground I have to paddle. Now, I honestly have been trying to get myself into better shape, but man, this is a workout. I promise you. I think I've already paddled maybe a mile and a half, two miles already this morning. And just taking little breathers, putting my anchor down. It ain't too bad. But uh, yeah, paddling this beast is something else. I'm gonna have to get used to it. All right. It's kind of weird trying to film uh, two outros back to back, but uh, it's different videos, so you need different outros for different videos. But uh, here we go. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm wore out. Uh, the wind's picking up a little bit, and I'm kind of glad I got on out of the water. But um, fighting the wind was one of the biggest things I had to do. But um, the 128X, it, it rode on top of it as long as I was uh, heading into the wind. Um, it was all right. I mean, it, it wasn't actually trying to fight against it too bad. Uh, the current was trying to take over a little bit, but uh, how high it sits on top of the water, it helped out a lot. Uh, and then I was able to make use of all the different uh, compartments. Uh, the little waterproof compartment that you normally put a battery in, uh, I was able to put my, my phone and um, microphone gear and everything in it and not have to worry about it. I wasn't able to get as much video as I wanted to, but uh, I'm only shooting with the phone. So uh, I, I got the, uh, the iPhone uh, 11 Pro, and it, it is what it is. I mean, I, I can only do what I, I can do with it um, until I can get a GoPro and get like a, a better setup to for uh, YouTube, but you know, that's on me, that ain't on y'all. But uh, I, I got to admit, the 128X, it was, it's a beast, but it did its job. I'm, Everything that uh, it has on it, I utilized, and um, I think I'm gonna have to get a little bit bigger, better anchor, uh, that one and a half pound anchor. Once it dug into the mud, it served its purpose, but it's there's a lot of weight. That's that's a lot of kayak to control, but um, I think it did well overall. I won't be using it if if I'm ever in uh, any type of uh, channels or rivers or streams or whatever, because that current's going to be flowing a good bit but um overall i honestly cannot be uh i'm not dissatisfied with it put it that way uh satisfaction uh, it, it serves its purpose it's a beast i'm gonna say it again it is a beast but um I, overall I'm, I'm glad i bought it I, i'm glad i got it I, I'm, I'm getting a good feel of it but um <sighs> We're going to utilize it a whole lot more this summer. So um, until I see y'all again, let's get some meat in the freezer.